Hey, this is Dave and Rich again from housebarons.com. Today we're going to show you how to uh, replace a shower pan. As you can see, we're in the midst of bathroom renovation here, and we'll show you the, the whole entirety of it. We've already demoed the walls, and uh, the next thing is we're going to take the shower pan out and uh, replace it. We are removing the shower pan uh, because we want to just do everything new. Uh, we bought this house as a bank-owned REO property, and there's lots of problems with the entire house. We talked about whether or not we should keep this pan, but I think in the long run, you want to have something that you know is good. So we're going to take this out, start fresh, and it'll be good for another 20 or 30 years. The drywall or your cement board is going to rest on the shower pan on this side of it. And so that's already been removed. And you can see we had mold issues from a sump pit on the other side that we just had recently replaced. And so that's remnants of a problem there. So if you ever see that, you know you got some water issues, which we've already addressed. But anyway, we, we want to take the shower pan out. And so the first thing is to get rid of the, the sheetrock or the cement board that rests on the shower pan. The last thing that's holding the shower pan from being removed is, is this right here, this ring. There's basically a rubber gasket between the drain pipe and your drain this 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 is just a rubber rubber ring and so there's a pretty tight seal here we're just going to drill out that rubber ring and then that should give us uh, all the room we need to remove the shower pan uh, also you can see the shower pan we've removed these already uh, had nail uh, like clips that clip the shower pan to the stud and those have been removed as well but this is the final thing we have to do. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to try to drill this out without hurting the pipe. At least not hurting the pipe too bad. And uh, then we'll be ready to remove it. I'll get a blade and pliers because the rubber, it's still pretty flexible so it wasn't drilling well. So let's see if we can get it started by pulling, pulling on it. Alright, so I want to cut the gasket here with a, a blade. Kind of just trying to free it up. I'm sure it's, um, there's a, there's probably some lip that it's anchored into. But, All right, take a look down there. That's what you're left with, is just a shower pan that slides over this pipe and it had that, that rubber gasket as the seal between it all. So I'm hoping that's gonna be all we need now to get this thing up. Um, the reason we're trying to get this up in one piece is because this is fiberglass, I believe, and uh, uh, fi cutting fiberglass um, is dangerous. It's not good to breathe, not good for your eyes. So uh, better to get it in one piece. So that's that's the goal. it's pretty dry under here which is a good thing but I guess you never know till you pull it up all right one thing down now we 
get over. And as you can see, there's no mortar bed to help support this. So um, maybe it was resting on these. But when we walked on it, you could feel it give just a little bit. And that's, um, yeah, we want a tile, we want a tile floor. And that's, that wouldn't work for this. All right, so that's how you remove a shower pan. Uh, all that's left down here is this plumbing uh, piece. And this will be the, you know, we'll attach our new drain to this. Next, we're going to put in a custom mortar bed to fit this, fit this area. And with our new drain, and we'll be good to go. I hope that helps with your bathroom shower pen removal renovation. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you like this, be sure to like it as well. And we've got more uh, home renovation videos coming. Thanks a lot.